Hi students, in the previous videos we have discussed about what is electrolysis, what are the principles of electrolysis, examples of electrolysis and also the applications electroplating with nickel and uh, silver and also what is electrometallurgy. Now this is the last in the series of electrolysis that is what is electro refining. So keep watching. Most metals are impure when extracted from their oxides or from their ores. Ores can be sulphides or oxides carbonates any kind of ores but once the metal is extracted from these ores they have some impurities present there now they need to be refined refined means removal of impurities refined so that they can be used for various purposes now removal of impurities from the extracted metal is known as refining so what is refining refining is the removal of impurity from the extracted metal now if electro refining we need to understand electro refining is removal of impurities using electrolysis that is if refining of a metal is done by the process of electrolysis then it is known as electro refining see the principle of active anode is employed in electro refining principle of active anode we have already seen where the anode produces its own ions and does not allow anions to discharge okay the impure metal is made the anode during electro refining and preferably a thick block of impure metal is used okay now the cathode is a thin strip of a pure metal what is happening the principle of active anode anode giving out metal ion that will get discharged at the cathode so the cathode is thin strip it will grow in size and mass the electrolyte must contain ions of the metal to be refined okay so that will give a higher concentration of metal ion and enable easy discharge of the ion now electro refining of copper is a typical example mentioned in class 10 syllabus okay so we will discuss electro refining of copper as i already mentioned cathode is a thin strip of the pure metal so we take pure thin strip of copper in the cathode why thin strip because it will grow in size as metal ions get discharged there right then anode is a thick block of impure copper why thick block because it will decrease in mass and gets finished and impure copper is there which will lose its ions it, impure copper will start giving copper ions impurities will settle down okay so what is the electrolyte electrolyte must contain copper ions so we take aqueous copper sulfate here aqueous copper sulfate splits into cu plus plus and so4 minus minus ions water splits to give hydrogen ion and hydroxyl ion the reaction taking place at the cathode is the ions migrating to the cathode what are the ions migrating to the cathode h plus ions and cu plus plus ion h plus ion is a spectator here it does not get discharged and the copper ions taking two electron and discharging to give pinkish particles of copper so it is a reduction because gain of electron it is a reduction reaction now reaction at the anode we have sulfate ion and OH minus ion coming here both are spectators here because we have already seen it is a principle of active anode involved here okay so the anode produces its own ion copper giving cu2 plus ions and two electron since the substance is losing electron it is oxidation now what happens to the impurities okay we already know active anodes do not allow anions to discharge at them instead they produce their own ions now we will see what is the impurity here okay the impurities settle under the anode now let us see that that is called anode mud anode mud is the impurities present in the metal such as silica mud and heavy metals deposit under the anode during the electro refining this impurity is called anode mud now let us see the observation here the anode grows sorry decreases in size and mass and the cathode increases in size and mass so this is one thing to note weight lost by anode is equal to weight gained by cathode no it is equal to weight gained by cathode plus weight of anode mud the impurities also this to be added then it will be equal now if you check uh, the setup the experimental setup here so if uh, this is the anode the anode continuously giving copper ions okay so it will decrease in size and mass it grows it decreases in size and the copper ion getting discharged at the cathode the cathode gets pinkish deposit and it grows in size 
okay so the impurity only the copper from this metal goes to the cathode other elements present there will settle underneath as impurities the impurities are formed here etc so this is what is called anode mud okay so the anode the copper present in anode goes to the cathode other elements present goes down as anode mud so the cathode grows in size anode decreases in size and mass so students thank you for watching this i think you understood what is electro refining now you can subscribe the channel and post your questions so that you will get updates about the next coming videos thank you